Our big focus on left, right and centre this evening. Well, the Atal Setu or the Trans Harbour Link has been thrown open to commuters and what a sight it was. Of course, um, very excited commuters uh, were on the Atal Setu today. They took selfies and this has been quite a dream project for the central government. The idea was first floated in the 1960s and after that, after a long way, the tender was finally floated in the late 2000s. But finally, under this central government, it received a big push and it was thrown open to the public today. It has been built at a staggering cost of over 17,000 crore rupees. And the Prime Minister said that this will truly change Mumbai's landscape. We decode the larger issues. Is the sea link, the sea bridge, which is India's longest, too expensive for commuters? Uh, does it actually look to solve the larger problem of connectivity issues and commute issues? That is what we will be looking at. But before that, listen in to what the aviation minister and a senior BJP leader had to say. Jyotir Aditya Sindhya said that, well, this is a grand success of the Prime Minister's 60-year-old dream and resolution. Panta Pradhan. चाहा करकमलों में दे 12,000 करोड़ रुपए से अटल सेतु कनेक्टिविटी ची प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट की शुरुआत झाली होती 60 वर्षां सा सपना होता महाराष्ट्र सा अन्य पंत प्रधान ची कार्यपद्धति आहेत कि जनता चा सपना होएल त्याचा संकल्प पंत प्रधान केता अनि संकल्पला घेऊन सिद्धि पर्यंत कार्य करून त्याला साकार ते करतात 2019 मधे शलनिया झाला होता अनि 2024 मधे त्याचा लोकार्पण 12 जनवरी चा दिवस मधे झाला so, well, uh, the BJP really pitching it as a mega infrastructure project and it is given the scale at which it has been built. But keeping the politics aside, today we focus on the larger infrastructure issues of Mumbai, issues of the commuters. We bring you voices of experts who actually decode the larger problem of Mumbai. Joining me on the broadcast this evening, Dr. Sudhir Krishna, former secretary uh, of the Ministry of Urban Development, Government of India. Also with us, Rajinder Kapoor, who is the president of All India Motor and Goods Transport Association. Thanks very much, gentlemen, for joining us on uh, Left, Right and Centre this evening. Going across to you first, uh, Dr. Krishna, uh, this ceiling, of course, is being pitched as a game changer in Mumbai's um, infrastructure in in the connectivity issues of the Millennium City, but do you think it can it can actually solve the problem of travel bottle traffic bottlenecks and you know uh, the the larger connectivity issues that people uh, face in Mumbai? Of course, these are extremely uh, congested roads that we are talking about that it seeks to traverse. So, do you think it can solve the larger issue for Mumbai? I think it is a step in that direction. Uh, the, all the problems cannot be solved by one stroke. All right. But, you know, the bridge connects the, the sea link, uh, Mumbai, uh, Trans Harbour link, it connects the South Mumbai to the Navi Mumbai. And it is a game changer, no doubt. It, is, it will reduce the tra travel time so much. It will reduce the congestion on the road. Otherwise, you have to travel all the way and you save almost like 40 to 50 percent of time and also the fuel as well as the traffic congestion. So, definitely it is a big boost. In many in many ways, but to say that it will solve all the problem may be somewhat difficult to you know accept. But definitely, it is a big boost more than the uh, solving the problem. Uh, Doctor Krishna is what you are saying, so that's very important, uh, an important perspective there. But uh, Rajendra Kapoor, let me get you in. Um, the toll prices that has been uh, one of the criticisms of this uh, C Link. Ki jo toll prices are kafi high hai. Abhi hum aapko screen pe dikha rahe hai ki uh, for heavy vehicles, for trucks particularly, the monthly pass is almost forty one thousand rupees. For uh, heavier vehicles, it's seventy nine thousand rupees a monthly pass, and the single journey, of course, is at uh, two fifty rupees for cars. Approximately one thousand five hundred eighty for heavy vehicles. For buses and trucks, it's at eight thirty rupees. So while the government has said that the uh, fuel prices have will save honge se, but do you think that this toll is very high, hai, particularly for trucks and heavy vehicles? जी हाँ ये टोल प्राइसेस बहुत हाई हैं क्योंकि बॉम्बे और पुणा या बॉम्बे से होकर जाने वाली जो मोस्ट ऑफ़ दी वाइकल्स हैं जो ट्रक्स हमारे हैवी ट्रक्स और स्मॉल ट्रक्स 
जो डेली डेली बेसिस पे वहां पे कम्यूट करेंगे उनके लिए इट्स टू कॉस्टली क्योंकि जितना पैसा बचेगा नहीं उससे ज्यादा टोल में चला जाएगा हमारा और हमारी एक इसमें सरकार से अपील है कि जैसा कि अक्सर देखा गया मैं आपका दो मिनट का समय ले रहा हूं जी जैसा कि अक्सर देखा गया कि हाईवे तो बन जाते हैं लेकिन उसके ऊपर बाद में रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन को फॉलो करने वाला उनको इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करने वाला कोई नहीं होता ये जताज एक्सप्रेस वे बना उसके ऊपर आप देखिए आज भी बुग्गी गाड़ी एंड बेल्ट गाड़ी एंड ट्रैक्टर ट्रैक्टर एवरीथिंग इज रनिंग ओवर देयर और सिग्निफिकेंटली जो डिस्टेंस है वो इतना कम हो गया है तो उसको भी तो आपको ध्यान में रखना पड़ेगा कहीं ना कहीं फ्यूल प्राइस जरूर कम होगा टाइम भी कम लगेगा लेकिन जो टोल प्राइसिस है वो बहुत ज्यादा है हमारी सरकार से मोदी जी से खास तौर से अपील है कि टोल प्राइजेस इसको कम करे जाएं उसके बाद में जब एक बारी थोड़ा सा जब इसके ऊपर रेगुलर हो जाएंगे लोग और लोगों को आदत हो जाएगी एंड देन दे विल सिट अस विद अस एंड डिसाइडेड व्हाट टू चार्ज और व्हाट टू नॉट सो यू आर सेइंग दैट इट शुड बी इन कंसल्टेशन इन अ सेंस विद यू नो ट्रकर्स एंड एसोसिएशंस लाइक योरसेल्फ्स बट डॉक्टर कृष्णा कमिंग बैक टू द लार्जर इशू ऑफ अर्बन प्लानिंग इन मुंबई यू नो अर्बन डेवलपमेंट एंड अर्बन प्लानिंग इज एन एक्सट्रीमली कॉम्प्लेक्स इशू पर्टिकुलरली इन मेट्रो सिटीज लाइक मुंबई एंड दिल्ली वन इमेज दैट हैज ट्रूली डिफाइंड मुंबई इन द पास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स इज the entire city sort of dug up construction everywhere that sort of contributes to environmental issues as well of course the sea link bridge has is very environmentally conscious as well i must point out but do you think that those larger aspects also need to be kept in mind when when we look at a greater uh, sort of construction and and an infrastructure push in cities like mumbai you see in in a city like mumbai which is very congested and thickly populated and bustling with economic and social activities almost round the throughout the day and night i think construction technology has to be changed we have to have prefabricated construction technology you know more and more it will save time and you don't have to dig up the roads as you have you have just stated so prefabricated uh, pre, uh, piers pre, prefabricated slabs and you you know wire duct pieces all that uh, high, uh, so it will help a lot buildings also prefabricated so i think that is one thing which have to do okay. secondly use of uh, you know information technology construction technology in the modern way 3d printing and so on i think mumbai is a very good candidate to adopt modern construction technology right. to reduce the problem of uh, digging up of the places here and there that's a very important point uh, dr krishna that we need to sort of look at more sophisticated technologies when we are looking at uh, you know construction of over bridges and flyovers so that they are sustainable and you uh, will be environmentally conscious as well but rajendra kapoor uh, let me come back to you and ask you ki jab is tarike ke infrastructure projects aate hain ek vision ke sath ki hum ek metro city ko transform karna chahte hain hum usko aur advance banana chahte hain to aapko lagta hai ki aap jaisi associations ka puri tarike se ya kuch had tak at least samarthan hona chahiye so that we all move in the right direction as far as the development of our cities is concerned क्योंकि मेनी अ टाइम्स वी सी कि आप देखते हैं कि जो जहां पर ट्रैफिक बॉटलनेक्स वगैरह दिखते हैं वहीं वहीं पर से ट्रक्स भी जाती हैं हेवी व्हीकल्स भी जाते हैं तो दैट कॉजेस अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूसेंस फॉर डेली कम्यूटर्स रीजन इज गुड आई ऑलरेडी अप्रिशिएटेड दैट लेकिन इसके अंदर हमारे को एक चाहिए कि इसके अंदर एक विजन में ये भी बात आनी चाहिए कि कल को उस रोड के ऊपर एक्सीडेंट नहीं हो तो क्यों नहीं एक जो हैवी व्हीकल्स हैं उनके लिए ईयर मार्क होनी चाहिए एक सेपरेट लेन ताकि क्योंकि इसमें हंड्रेड किलोमीटर की स्पीड रखी गई है एज पर माय नॉलेज अवेलेबल नॉलेज के हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर की स्पीड रखी गई है अगर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आवर की स्पीड होगी और अगर सेपरेट लेन नहीं होगी तो देयर विल बी स्कोप 
for uh, accidents and well, all. Well, Rajendra Kapoor, so let's hope that there are no accidents. It's just been thrown open to the public, and let's hope that you know the traffic is streamlined. And you know, uh, because I'm sure the government is looking at those aspects as well. In fact, uh, the government says that uh, this is a multiple lane overbridge. Uh, we have looked at the environment. We have looked at you know making it commuter friendly as well. That I think has been the focus of the government in you know in in highways like uh, the Delhi Jaipur Highway as well. Uh, so a step in the right direction, sure. Some concerns, some challenges that the government perhaps will have to address uh, sooner rather than later. Thanks very much, uh, gentlemen, for joining us on Left, Right and Centre this evening.